to the survival chaos and we are hopefully going to be defending our winning streak extremely well if we manage to win this we're going to be on um, what the hell is this even that looks really ugly um we're going to be on a five winning streak game but it's going to be a wonderful game since we are fighting manuel and john ricky <laughs> Oh, uh, people want to stream sign me. No, 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 they will not. So what can these guys do? Um, Crescent Warriors are the tier 2 unit replacement. With a AoE attack and more damage HP and mana. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. They do have the mana shield. Okay, so we're gonna get early tier 2 barracks up. Uh, we might be okay against the Worgen early on. Ooh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh my god, we're gonna be in for a tough game. But we definitely, definitely need to hurt the faction of the Dark Dwarves early on. Because if he reaches late game potential, we're gonna be doomed. Even though we are a strong race with the Nightborn. Ragnaros will be eating the Anomalous alive. <clears throat> Let's go to the scary battle. And yep, we are losing both silence. At least the middle lane is looking a little bit better. I don't think we can get the early upgrade, can we? Not the best neutral buildings around either. Can kill these two. Just one sector late. Nah, two more sectors late. That's fine. So work is going to be way slower than the orcs. I'd rather do not want to wait for ages with upgrading my barracks. And I do not want to feed the enemies early on either. If the Orcs would be over here with a big wave against my tattoo, then that would suck greatly. Same for the Worgen. But these attacks are not coming in at a great time, are they? Ah, the Orcs might be okay. He does have Frostwolf Ravages, which are the anti-mechanical. They can actually give extra gold on killing them. So they have extra scrap village potential. So he's going anti Dark Dwarfs. Um, since the Dark Dwarfs went for random bones, he could potentially get mad Ragnaros here. If that would happen, that would be very sucky for us because Mad Ragnaros does prioritize the top player first. Unless he gets redirected. Um, he's playing with the Orb, so that's gonna be wonderful. Curse Worgen. So we're actually fighting two enemies that went for a bonus pick. Curse will not do too much against the Dark Dwarf, so this is actually anti Nyborn. I mean, how perfect is it to actually curse Edicts? <laughs> um, yeah, but Orcs are playing anti Max, so that's gonna be interesting. Now we'll vote for one of the side lanes. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, the saxophone is the best, but I really prefer the other alert because that are reliable subscribers that are going to stay with us for a long, long time, I hope. Did I find out more about the words 4.5 uh, game? I did not. I did not. I think it's uh, all the same. Maybe there's a cheat, secret cheat command in it. And now I'm going middle lane. The orcs will have to deal with that. But like I said, we're gonna get early fear free barracks everywhere. <laughs> so we got a winer here already. That's wonderful. <laughs> Loving their name. Also, um, yeah, I, it's so weird that we're not playing with anti... Uh, Anti-hero or base defend. Got so used to them lately. He, he should be fine. He should be fine. <clears throat> He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. 
Oh, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? I don't think he's managing this out well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> he's going for the Dark Dwarf. Oh my god, Morgan eating up that tower. Oh boy, boy, that's a good man. Morgan is going to be snowballing. Oh, look at the mill lane barracks. <clears throat> Never tell that. Never let the enemies know you were the one that destroyed the barracks. The Morgan might also be destroying the middle lane if he can push through. So yeah, I'm trying to stop him here. Darkwood is doing the same. I really wish we did not destroy this, but if the Orc was a really good player, he might have been fine. <laughs> oh boy, come on. Don't let him go, uh, get into the middle lane, please. Nah, we could remake, but... <clears throat> I mean, we did destroy this tower and this guy is salty. I mean, it happens, it's also part of survival chaos that someone can die early on. It only makes the game more interesting. But my hope of the orcs killing the dark dwarfs for us, it's not gonna be there. Yeah, why would we remake uh, if we have a good advantage? <laughs> I mean, you guys just want to see me bleed too much. But he never should have lost us early on, as simple as that. I mean, even if he would lose one barracks, he could have stayed and... Could have gone for hero comeback, or maybe even just get second place. We need suffering. <clears throat> if we can finish this early on, I might be doing another one. That's the best thing to get. <laughs> But yeah, normally I am the one getting sandwiched, dying. So yeah, just let me enjoy this. This feels good, this feels good. This is absolutely amazing. And we will have to deal with dark dwarves, guys. I'm most certainly gonna be bleeding. Yeah, this is probably the mistake the orcs made. Go for fortifications early on. Maybe the AI did it. But if you want fortifications, I'll go for the early game bonus. Then you deserve to suffer. You suck on bombs. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe tier 4 mid lane. Greed like hell. We're not gonna get too much gold from the orcs anymore. It can completely snowball around here. And I'd be happy. This might cost me a little bit of gold though, because that wave did spawn at a really bad time. Oh, look at the AI, man. What a great defender. Yeah, this is going to be costly. Oh no, not extra wolves. Oh my god, stop it! You absolute animal. Yeah, we should be fine. Maybe we bought too many units, but... <clears throat> Let's protect the orcs. That's how kind we are, guys. That's how kind we are. We will try to protect the beautiful little green skins. While he is complaining. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the extra movement speed. Upgrading our spell sling is damage as well, which is gonna be great against the Worgen. We definitely need the multi shot here, so we're gonna go tier 3 here sooner or later. Then we can take down it. His front line's a little bit easier. Blood for blood. 
What the hell was that? Blood for blood. Primalt? Okie dokie. Yeah, we got big wave, but Krymod could actually stay alive there for a little while. He's not the best tank, so if we can push through, then we should be fine. <clears throat> yeah, I want to save his base. Grim Leon knows me. <laughs> he knows me well. Feel free. Definitely want to keep upgrading our units. Can we please push through? Ooh, we're on fire. Yeah, the Morgan is not easy meat. He's, the Morgan is protecting him. But yeah, he lost the tier 2 fortress, so we're losing a lot of gold there. We have no fortifications. So the longer the game will last, the longer the orcs will be in the game, the more painful this will become. What the hell flip happened here? <laughs> uh, sticks! <coughs> Are you not supposed to be a moderator? You're being extremely cruel to us. Oh, Niguyen. Hello there. For Niguyen, we have to continue and fight, man. <laughs> Hopefully we can riot the, these pesky dwarves. My crime will survive, I fear. Might be going to on the fortress soon. Crymod indeed taking damage, but we're not going to be slaying him at all. Science will be okay, haste will be wonderful. Definitely want tier 3 on the left side. So let's just keep the tier here and the first tier 3 here. We will go for the tower upgrades a little bit later. Oh, he went tier 3. Do not want him to save Primal there, not at all. Let's just keep focusing on our units. We stop the upgrades. We're gonna be doomed. Maybe we can do a challenge to try to win this without any hero summoning. <laughs> our Empress knows that we gotta hide uh, good old sticks in the van. Let's just play without heroes. Let's make it difficult for ourselves. Although, we will probably die trying it. Would be the worst thing we can actually do in the game. We will probably survive with like 1000 health remaining. Let's freeze these fine enemies. Yeah, I don't want to see the dark uh, dwarves late game. They are incredibly powerful. Also, if we do not go for a hero, we might be ruining our winning streak of four games. Insufficient gold. Upgrade complete. Tough choices. <coughs> Would he really go for a hero now, middle lane? Nah. <coughs> Could be. Then he might be killing Grimold with it. Okay, let's just send the hero then. You guys want me to be mean? <laughs> you went to four. Oh my god. Yeah, we uh, lost so much gold on this lane already. He's going to three, so it's gonna take even long before we get rid of him. <coughs> there it seems to be doomed. With tier 2 against tier 4, tier 4. Let's just be greedy trying to kill Grimald over there. I don't see this as a free win to me because I think the Dark Earth is gonna be leading gold soon. Wait, did he just cancel this? Tier 2 mid lane. Oh, this is dead. <laughs> Maybe not. Delisra, use the spell. That oh no, she can't go for the spell yet. The lizard might actually die here, yeah, if we're lucky. Ooh, fire effect is activated. Oi, oi, oi. 
Yeah, that... Basically, Dwarf is gonna be so strong already. We might actually be losing to Lissra to Primal here. Was just a few hundred health, and look at this, over a thousand now. Please take down Darius. Well done, Tiff. Welcome with Tiff 3. We didn't get him. That's a shame. We deserved it, but we didn't get it. Let's get the multi shot. Oh, it's gonna die here soon. We're certainly dead sticks. Maybe one will help us out. I'm not swimming in the gold. You guys are overestimating that. He's been on destroyed tier 1 bears for like 10 minutes of the game. He plus so much gold there. Grimey certainly did. Yeah, with just 70 health, he really meant to survive that for a long time. Let's get the haste. Uh, what should we do? Silence. Will probably be great. Okay, shield. Let's go man shield. He went tier 3. We are tier 3, so that makes sense. We also could uh, decide to go for a hero. They're still leveling up nicely. We have to keep on upgrading. Rush mana transfer. Hmm. Could be insane, but I probably just want to nuke down my enemies. <laughs> we will probably need nukes to destroy the dark one before uh, dark was before you reach late game potential. And he's already getting a little bit too close for my liking. Slowdown would be nice, but it's not going to be too effective against the Twas, but it's going to be very effective against the Wogan. So let's get it still. Probably silent soon. Elisra still being okay over there. Arcane okay, Barrage would be very effective against the Wogan, who somehow did get this wall army from here to there. You're absolutely kidding me. Don't tell me Frog will survive for ages here. <laughs> oh no, the Dark One might be. Oh my god, why is he all fully redirected here? What the hell? Dark Dwarf is getting good goal there. Hopefully those heroes will go bottom so that we can pinch after the remain of its base. Still in silence. There we go. <coughs> Perfect. Bye barracks. Oaks finally falling. Man drain. Let's get the arcane shield up and then we might even go to the four here. Let's go fortifications. We will need level four fortification anyway if we want to nuke an enemy. Maybe we're gonna send a doom to one of these enemies. Could also be fun. Still need the mana drain. Research finished. Have four fortifications. Yeah, yeah, the AI is being like a true AI, doing random stuff. It's 
get this. Then we have everything at level 1 at least, so that's great. Wogan will go top once the orcs are defeated, so that sucks a little bit. But it's a classic game of a cursed Wogan with that orb killing an enemy at the opposite direction early on. I'm not responsible for his demise. But it sucks. Militia did decently well. I think the orcs are attacking here, otherwise he wouldn't have to send the hero out yet. Or the wagon is going crazy against him. That is also possible. But he might be getting free orc heroes slay for free. Looks like he's struggling a little bit against us. That's perfect. <clears throat> the slow is going to be very effective against the Worgen as well. Let's just queue it up. Normally you do not want to do it at, obviously, but he should be fine. It's going to take ages before one of the enemies will even attack us. Yeah, Moira definitely did slay three York heroes. It's just lucky day. At least we're only tier 2 here, because he's also only tier 2. Mora gonna take a good time to actually attack us, but... Yeah, I was afraid of this happening. <laughs> I'm not gonna send level 1 hero there. That's sure. And without the orcs, they might even text early on, so let's hope that will happen. No. <clears throat> let's make this fight a little bit more interesting. This could be a valid reason for him to send a hero to us. I'll stay in tier 2. I need to apply the pressure here, get more gold on that lane so that we can hopefully outtake the dwarves. But I'm not counting on it. Especially in the middle lane would be ideal, but we will need 1000 gold here. 2750 uh, here. Then this as well. Which will be like 6250 gold. Maybe we didn't go for the tip barracks, so we might have been able to pull it off. And they will still take a little bit of time to attack us, especially with the Wogan backstabbing him. But we're not getting too much gold here, nor here. We went tier 4. Makes sense, but we should be able to maintain control here at least. We're still getting a decent amount of gold here as well. Sadly, the spell sync is not hitting the frontliners. Let's do it. I might regret it, but we will never have the gold for the special unit to defend the mid lane. We can potentially send Morad towards the Arkandor Spire. I defend with one hero. Need to uh, get rid of this wave ASAP, man. Come on. This wave is going to be spawning a good time though. By the, light of the moon. By the light of the moon. Jeez, there was a lot of damage there. Let's get the replenish mana.
Where the hell is Moira Desius? That's a bit annoying. I'll get there for magic soon as well because the arcane lance is incredible. The guy's still somewhat struggling. He's a bit nasty. Primal's gonna fall. Perfect. Let's get the arcane lance now. Oh, my poor tree is on fire. Let's see. More damage here. He's still for mid lane. <coughs> John Wick is truly going for it. So, yeah, even though this guy was a major disappointment, his other enemies are still kind of cool. It was about time he would send a hero. Mm. Backtrack is probably really nice because we get damaged a lot by the Dark Ward with that insane attack speed. So we might be getting a lot of healing back from that. Tattoo on the long lane is annoying, but it's not my imported barracks anyway. Bigger silence. Let's work. Armor up. We need 777 anyway. Unless we will not finish this game out quickly. But uh, with every passing minute, it is. Getting more likely that the Dark Dwarfs will be winning it. But we will do everything in our power to not let that happen. Side being Man Drain. Sure. Okay, so overall. We're playing this game here. The Nisra is definitely gotta be annoying for our enemies. Ragnaros middle lane or left side? That means this guy is not afraid. Middle lane, okay. He's gonna get a lot of experience for slaying a uh, good old Nisra. He's gonna do it quick as well because he's just a mage. It's the same barracks as me, T4, T4, T2. So the Wogan's actually getting a lot of gold except from middle lane. Gold wise, yeah, just slightly ahead. Not as much as you guys probably expected. Probably on the anomalous middle lane. Maybe Luro here, although we can potentially defend it without a special unit or a hero. Six six is still four four. You address the Queen of Regents of the Dark Iron. I should just doom for the fun of it. Pharaoh would be pleased. Gonna be like a level 12 regrolls against a anomalous. I think we're gonna stay in control here, that's perfect. I said Oakland here to level them up. This is not gonna be the worst for the enemies to deal with though. Yeah, let's just send her. 
I'd rather have a reliable tank than not let leveled up. Maybe that's just me. I think Illyrial is great. Probably one of the best tanks in the game. Let's go a bit deep here though. Bit risky going for that with Ragnarok's incoming. Oh, he went tier 3. So we can send the Oclet here maybe in our uh, counter attack. I want to see the state of the Worgen. It's probably not our biggest concern at all. He's managing the game quite fine. Uh, is he dooming here? Woohoo! Uh, that's lovely. <laughs> well, we can play the game as well. Although he might go on the right side if we're unfortunate. Got the Doom the Dwarves. Hey there, Quick Turtle, nice to see you there. Oh boy, please go back to the left side. Yes, good boy. Should be generally fine here with tip 4 from us and tip 4 from the Worgen. He's tip 4 now. Hard to play the guy though. Let's go tier 3, only mana, interesting. Level 9 attack. <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna get a lot of reinforcements against Yoclis. But oi oi oi, all those tentacles will be annoying for him. And he might be losing a tower actually. Could try to take him down with a hero, a special unit, but... I find this way. <clears throat> if he's gonna survive long enough and can start smiting on looking. The game will be completely in the hands of the Dark Dwarfs. Oh my god, Worgen is bleeding. And he still uses the Doom against us. Goodbye Tower. Be nice to see you there. So yeah, we can say the Doom has been quite effective already. You know what? Maybe we should send the anomalous with the next wave. Ah, the doom is not gonna. Oh my god, the tower's still alive. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, the anomalous will still struggle there. Dagran going for us. Let's go. Let's try to take uh, the big guy down. Probably want to contact a heart so that we can send him another doom. <coughs> hey, Bebop. The great Murloc. Nice to see you there. How to win with Sarok? Well, that's easy. You don't. <laughs> Yeah, the dragons, especially the special units. And late game, they are pretty powerful. So they are cool race, but it's very hard to get through the early game if you do not have a reliable bones with them. Goodbye, Reggie. Can give him the other one, but he might be able to defend it with a Ragnarossi. I'm so angry, man. Oi, oi. Let me go for another Doom to us. A 250. Man, it's the next Doom, so yeah, he can do it. Okay. Let's just kill him then. Oh no.
God love it. Although this one might actually hurt us. We will defend the anomalous sadly. Illyria will hold, but she should be able to do that, right? Well, she's going a little deeper than I was hoping for. The other one's gonna be good. Let's collect the experience. Let's go tier 3 there. I mean, if the Anomalous will die, I'm gonna cry. Maybe send Zat against the Wargan because he's really annoying me with the double Void creatures. He's definitely not playing nice. Ragnaros will probably go mill lane, or he can be redirected to the Wargun, who knows. So far, we are good. Well, let's be real, the difference between me and Manuel is that he actually deserves it. He's a filthy dwarf, a dark one, hiding his mountain, playing with lava and dragons, and I'm just a little egg that Addict that needs a little bit of help, and not from a void. <laughs> Goodbye. Tier four. We're all good here. Anomalous is not going to be a threat to him. Can we actually steal the other one? Ah, oh, no, we couldn't. That's a shame. Ragnaros is probably motivated to attack us. Let's get another fortification upgrade. Ah, uh, so please let me know in the chat. Who do you think deserves some sort? John Wick or Manuel? Which of these guys is going to get sort? The one with the most votes in the chat will get it. Do Manuel. <laughs> John, one one. So let me know in the chat guys, gotta be quick, because we will be doing soon. Yeah, he can still nuke, he can try, but he will need a triple nuke to take my buildings down. So good luck with him, uh, for him with that. And yeah, the work might be protecting him a little bit in mid lane. John John. Manuel. <laughs> orc. Well, he deserved it, the orc. So that's actually two free. John having three votes. Three free. Okay. So we need one more. Goldrin will beat up Anomalous, but he's at least gonna be half life or worse. Got a much bigger wave. A level one against level 14. John, okay. Then let it happen. We might not get the gold from Gold uh, Goldrin. Oh, we did. I think. Ragnos over there being scary. By the night of the moon. Let's go.
Well, we better not be stealing it. Thank you. Let's be hasty. Big bad track for more healings against the Dark One. <coughs> he will lose again, but he might be also losing Goldrin. And oh, this looks so beautiful. Love those tentacles, man. <laughs> let's hope so. I thought, let's hope so. Sark after their rework are much more difficult to play. But next time we get them, I have a good plan. But since we are going to be hopefully on a 5 winning streak, it would be sad if we actually get the Sarok. Hello there, Grimold. <laughs> and Ty. Hmm. I'll pick next. Nah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Ooh, Darius will struggle there by himself. Goldrin actually beating up Misate, that's sneeze and nasty. <clears throat> What's mean, Goldrin? Yeah, that was might be going for another Ragnaros to us, who knows. There's actually surviving. Well, let's be careful because with three on man he can give me an assault. It would not be ideal. Maybe we can. Just really depends on uh, when we finish the game. It's taking longer. Than I expected. I'm going all in here. Get Goldrin out of the game. It should hopefully be enough. I was considering the anomalous here, but as long as this guy is not sending Ragnaros, and he would send him at the moment we are having the noms there, it could be. A big loss for us there. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Lyria will take some hits, but she can freeze the enemy wave. Then we should be able to take down Goldrin. It's just the shield. You know what? <clears throat> Let's be a little mean. Just a little bit. Sit all your love. <laughs> oh dear, dear. Oh, man, well. He can also smite him out, so. Oh, not gonna be in too much trouble against that. <sighs> but the Lysra is slightly doomed again to the Reggae. But we forced that, no nooks from him. Tobias will certainly struggle against Lurio, even if he redirects. But look at his mana. Did he actually go for magic rune? I think he did. So we have to be very aggressive against him because if we let him attack us, he will throw down a Nassau on us for sure. I honestly rather not wait for that to happen. Come on, say Tobias already, please. So I'm gonna be able to redirect all my forces here, so yeah. A little here, it's nice to get the hero away, but it also means he, he is gonna have more troubles redirecting. You know what? Let's just be aggressive. If he has Ragnar stuck here for a little while, he will not have him in his defense. He's not gonna be able to smite yet. Darius will still probably go top, I assume. The lesser alone will not be sufficient to take him down. So we're gonna have to deal with the Zot in our base up here. Mm. 
Yeah, and uh, level one Oculus. It's not gonna be too much help for this round. So we gotta have to save up some gold so that we can defend this out. And Anomalous might be dead before we get this out, so we'll see. Well, we will obviously take down some of my reinforcements. And Ragnar's also incoming. So we're gonna have a monumental task for us. But since our numbers was not ready here anyway, I think we made, made the right call to at least apply pressure to Manuel. Ooh, the barracks didn't look good. If we would have to use an uh, aggressive defense spell there, then that would be wonderful. Kind of on the Lurial left side, but we kind of need a Lurial on the right side as well. Yeah, we could try that with Grimma, uh, Leon. Not be easy. But since he does have a lot of nasty machines out there. And maybe we'll just send the uh, Anomalous. So the, he's taking too long. You know what? <clears throat> Let's just go crazy, man. I feel strong today. So I want to use it on the Lurio. Let's go for another silence. Where's my doom? I want the Zod, come on! Well, let's refill, so she can hopefully shield again. Is he dooming here? Oh, he's probably dooming there. Oh, why is he hitting the barracks? That's unforgivable, Ragnaros. Totally unforgivable. I don't think it popped up because we just killed the enemy that he doomed too quickly. <laughs> Or it's over here, but I'm not seeing anything doomed. So he messed it up. I just guess you go for another few upgrades. <clears throat> so do we... Yeah, a set 20 command would be a lot better. Hey there, Reggie. Mammal does deserve the Nexus out, right? I've actually seen once one of my ranges with the Void Elves use the image and Dutchy Doom uh, with it, which kind of sucked. Well, then, is it gonna be sufficient? But will we extend the destroy the crypt? I don't think we will. Try to look at the anomalous. Oh yeah, he can. Oh, he cannot smell. Oh, that's unforgivable. Oh no, he's a pussy. Well, then. 
let's say, <coughs> getting less gold now than we deserve. Do we uh, Nibon have Purge or Dispel? I don't think they do. Maybe one of the uh, Bones do. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh boy. It's gonna be hard for him to defend this at least. That's good news. <clears throat> Let's hope you will not steal away Goldrin from us. Never would have happened if the Wogan stayed, but yeah. <clears throat> I said so much about it already that I better not do it anymore. <clears throat> Hopefully to the lesser I can get the kill. I mean, if we're not gonna kill this, I'm gonna be so- Oh my god, I'm so angry now. <clears throat> I'm so freaking angry. It would be fun to keep Ragnar stuck here for a little while, so then Sot can need this whole base. So we did not kill Goldrin, while we did not even have to actually deal with him. But yeah, it's just it's, it's, it's what it is. Back to the caves! He's not giving up. Gotta respect that from Manuel. He's a beast. But there's no way he can keep up for much longer. Also, research wise, he might be a little bit behind. Just a little bit. Look at Luriel. I think this like a true heroine. That would be buff. That would be insane to test out. Maybe get an uh, overpowered. Um, oh no, say Arcanist or Archer. Archer. Oh, it would be fun on the Archer. It actually, keeps healing in the back line. Let's just keep upgrading. I mean, it's fine. Oh, this is actually useless. Oh well. We can do a uh, bring out the furnace up soon. <laughs> hey, we gotta uh, encourage him, right? He's holding on really well for the fact that he did not play the game for such a long time. With a race, that is a really powerful late game, but not the easiest to play. Yeah, I kind of fear that. Okay, so we will have to deal with another Ragnaros. Can we destroy this barracks? I mean, that would be fun. And yeah, for those guys watching on YouTube, um, feel free to consider to join us on the kick stream. We need to get a higher amount of followers and average views over there. If we can do that, we might be able to get a partnership, which would help out a lot with our streams. 
and the content we can actually create and publish on YouTube. So if you want to support, then please get uh, get our uh, the link to our channel there. You can find it on YouTube itself, and then you would help us out incredibly. <sighs> but for now, we can just sit back, relax a little bit of mayhem. Ragnaros might not be able to defend this, and he has two heroes here. Dagon is not taking it. That means the barracks is destroyed. Alright. That might be game for Manuel. You might be losing the Imperial Forge as well. But it's no longer going to be spawning here and there. And Ragnaros and Dagon can defend for a little while. But the next in the sod would also be coming in soon. But what a beautiful game that's been. Oh, he's still defending it. But certainly, certainly a great performance here by Manuel. Gotta admit that. With Ragnos running away, Dagran is gonna die here soon. He's not spawned too much, but neither are we. Oh! But that could also destroy the main. Okay, perfect. So solid thing. You know what? <coughs> Hello there. Yeah, it seems like the stream is struggling a little bit. Not sure so why. But it can happen. Yeah, I think we actually will destroy him on the Research lane by the barracks. Finish. Finish. Oh, finishing all the research. Oh, look at that score, man. That's juicy. <laughs> Got the purchase box. Poor Dagrand. He's so angry. Three one one. Yeah, and we will destroy now. Within the hour, guys. Within the hour. Unless they are gonna run away like this over here. <laughs> He's not seeing anything. He minus 100 rage from the bill, uh, barracks. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, we're just scarcely waiting for um, Ragnos to die. Oh yo 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 yo! The best Dutch internet. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, Dagram will survive this. And the Zat's just chilling with his tentacles. Lovely, lovely game. A grab form is said about the behavior from the orcs and the Worgen. But such things can't be expected from primitive beings.